Hello, my name's Rolly, Z01BQD. For those who've watched my channel before, you'll know the draw by now. Yeah, pull up a chair, grab a cup of coffee. Let's see what I've been up to with a DX Commander expedition this afternoon, shall we? Wow, I just noticed that 10 metres is singing here in New Zealand at the moment. And, uh, yeah, the DX Commander uh, all-band vertical is doing a great job on the 10 metres, but I just noticed when I tuned onto my 40 metre dipole, I was getting some pretty good signals off the 40 metre dipole. And it just got me wondering if that uh, some of the signals may not be more horizontally polarised than they are vertically polarised. I don't have an antenna that's horizontally polarised on 10 at the moment, so I'm just thinking now what can we do about that and... Uh, Let's have a look at the DX Commander uh, Expedition, shall we? I've got a couple of these, so I reckon that if I take some of the uh, elements of the uh, DX Commander here, uh, I reckon probably about uh, four or five of the top elements. One, two, three, four. We'll take the fifth one as well. Right. Take those five there. Let's, let's just take them. And I reckon that's one half of a uh, of a dipole, two and a half meters. Near enough. Pretty sure that'll be uh, good enough there. Now just bear with me a moment, and we'll just go and grab some wire. Yeah, I know what we'll do. Okay, I'm back again. Listen, I just grabbed some DX10. Now that threads neatly down the centre of the uh, the smallest element. Once you've got that threaded down, and just pull out the elements again. So what we're doing is just threading two and a half metres of uh, DX10 up the up the middle of this uh, outfit here, and that makes us half of our dipole. Yeah, got plenty of wire down that end there. That's about it there. So I put a knot in here. Just so that it won't pull back. <laughs> now that I've threaded it in, I don't want it all pulled back, do I? One half of my dipole. Right. Let's get a, uh, a center insulator of some sort. In fact, just got the ideal bit of that. Bear with me, be back again. Yep, back again. Listen, just nip off down to your, uh, we call them in New Zealand here, one, one, two, three dollar store. You know, those thrift stores where you can just about pick up anything for a buck or two. Grab yourself and buy yourself a, uh, a plastic uh, cutting board. Uh, for the you know they're normally used in the kitchen as cutting board. They're ideal for cut yes, yeah, I've used this for all sorts of projects, haven't I? They're ideal for cut out a centre insulator. I've cut out a centre insulator here for which I'm going to mount uh, this uh, this one is one side of the dipole and the identical one to the, the other side. Yeah yes I do have a couple of DX uh, uh, commander expeditions. Everybody should have a couple of them in their in their arsenal of antennas. So I've used the uh, the second one to make a create a, a identical element of this, mounted on the centre insulator. Now we've got ourselves a uh, a dipole on ten metres. Show you what I've got one up in there. We'll go and have a look at it, shall we? Right here we go. There's the center insulator that I was talking about there, just cut out of that lump of uh, plastic. And I've uh, mounted a couple of dowels on that just to give it a bit of stability and then connected the, the two um, uh, DX Commander Expedition um, center pieces like that. And we have ourselves a um, dipole. 
on team readers. Here we go, there's a center insulator. No, no balance, no nothing, just connected straight into the dipole. And what have I used as the mast? Well, I'll use the remaining sections of the DX Commander. And that makes an ideal mast. Strapped against the side of the fence. And it's working perfectly. Working JAs, VKs, a few on the state side. And uh, just this l last evening, yeah, I was working into Europe on this little uh, setup. Not bad, eh? Well, there you go. My DX Commander um, Expedition hack. Not bad to get me so get me going on 10 metres uh, horizontally polarised, and it's working a charm. So if you've got a couple of uh, the Expedition uh, uh, or Expedition models of the DX Commander, or any of that, actually, uh, the DX Commander series, in fact, the DX Commander Lite, I'm sure that would uh, work as well. Give it a go. See how you get on. Bye for now.